Hello everybody, I I'm Science Appliance, I haven't been here in like a month again, even though I said I was coming back. I always come back. Yeah, so basically there's a lot of things that we've got to go over because a lot of things have happened to FNAF in like the past week, which is insane. First thing I want to say, of course, is happy fifth birthday FNAF. <laughs> happy birthday, this is the official uh, happy birthday, I guess stream, not really, but... So, this is what we have, so, a little bit of context, so, last week, sometime last week, it was FNAF's fifth birthday, um, and we were all expecting a teaser, I mean, why wouldn't there be a teaser or an update, we, we got both, which is great. He sent this teaser out, he also sent another one out on FNAF World, this is FNAFworld.com right now, it's just the number 58. But, it's not just that. As you know, Scott loves darkening things. <laughs> um, and we're not going to go through all of this today, because I ha actually have no idea what this is all about. But, um, he says stuff like, probably the worst idea he's ever had. Five years for this? Are we a joke to you? You know, we're going to go through that, maybe in another stream or video. But today I kind of want to focus on this. Um, also, another thing I wanted to focus on was... Matt Pat's video because it it takes a very interesting turn I guess to the story I know there are a lot of things wrong with it but I agree that the books are going to be more incorporated into into the the games and I think we should probably consider the books uh, and even trying to make a timeline fit with the books what the hell is this well it's clearly an, an 80s mall um, one theory that I said on my Discord server was that it could be the mall from the Silver Eyes. I mean, that's the only book that I've read. Um, I should probably read the other two. I have got the other two. I'm just too um, lazy. But this is a mall. This is clearly a mall. There's, it says Arcade at the back. It says Laser Tag here. Um, it says EMA at the back, and I'm guessing that stands for uh, that's like the end of cinema. Uh, and Fazbear Pizza. One good thing to note about this picture is when you save it, it is called 9.png. So maybe FNAF 9, um, because I think there have been eight main horror games. Um, I, I put emphasis, emphasis on horror because FNAF World is debatably a game. I mean, it kind of fits into the lore, but it's not really a full horror game. Um, so we have FNAF 1, 2, 3, 4, Sister Location, um, Fazbear, whatever, the Simulator game, um, Ultimate Custom Night, and VR. That's 8. Um, and I do think this is the ninth. I really do. You know, I have a few theories about these animatronics because it's, it's very clear that this, these four animatronics aren't just the standard Freddy, Chica, Bonnie, Foxy, I mean they, they could be. So at first I thought this was Chica because of the little tufts and people are theorizing that it is Chica on Reddit, but the more I look at it the more I see Bonnie because not only could those be ears, but this is clearly a guitar right and we, we know Bonnie for playing the guitar. So I definitely think that this is Bonnie, maybe like he's tied his, his ears. But, I mean, if we're looking at this era, it looks like kind of 80s, 90s, it's like more punk, I guess? I don't know. I don't know a word to describe it. Are those Rockstar versions? The only problem with them being Rockstar versions is we already have Rockstar animatronics. If we look at the Rockstars, they do not look like what we have here. They look very, very animatronic-y. And these guys don't. These guys don't look kind of like the, the standard animatronics, but I can't really say anything because we can only see their silhouettes, right? Keep in mind, Chica has hair in the toy Chica cutscenes. Oh, that's a good point. So this could very well be Chica. That is a very good point. We're going to go over this guy in a minute because that one's interesting. Uh, this is clearly Freddy. Uh, I love his sleeves. Uh, I love like Bonnie's little tufts at the bottom. It's like a proper what is it, like Elvis kind of 
kind of trousers, you know what I mean? I mean, these could all just be new animatronic designs, you know, that they've made. It's just very strange to think about what era this could be, because obviously we've seen a lot of different decades. I say that, we've only seen 80s, 90s, and 2020s. Because I feel like this should be kind of more 90s. It, it, it feels like a more 90s feel, but at the same time it's kind of 80s as well. <laughs> I mean, they're both quite similar. We have, at the moment, Freddy, Bonnie, Chica. All three of them seem like that could be okay, you know? Bonnie has the guitar, Freddy clearly is holding a microphone in front of his face. Chica is... Chica usually has a cupcake. So I don't know what she's playing. Maybe she's playing like a sitar or something. But then we have this character. What the hell is this? <laughs> it looks like someone with a mohawk. Um, at the same time, it looks like... Um, oh my god, What what's her name? Her name um, from Deltarune. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. The purple. Oh, Susie. It looks like Susie. I just realised that. I'm gonna bite your face off. It's hard with silhouettes to figure out what's what, you know? Because maybe this could be hair, maybe it could be a hat. It could be like a Tudor hat. And we don't know if, like, this is just the instrument or this entire thing is the instrument. You know what I'm talking about? Um, so whoever this is, they've, they've got revamped because we haven't seen an animatronic like this before. Uh, this could be in the future or the 2010s because the fans are adults. Okay, the kids who would have been at the original locations all grown up and coming for nostalgia. That could be true, and it's it's very it's very good to point out that yeah, the people in the background are firstly people. We haven't seen many people, um, and secondly, they are adults. They're not children. Freddy Fazbear's Freddy Fazbear's wants children. That's why. That's how they get children killed. To me, the mohawk just looks like Foxy's ears from the side. Oh, oh, hmm. True. But then again, we have the light. So, one good thing to look at when you're looking at teasers is the light. Lighting. Um, you can see we have light across uh, Bonnie's face. I keep calling Bonnie to call this Chica. Yeah, like we have light here. You can see the purple on the hat as well. It's kind of a glistening hat. We have it on here as well, so I, that leads me to believe that that's kind of an instrument. But then we have it like on the top of this, so it, it could be the ear, like an ear that goes this way and then down. But it's very strange. I feel like a mohawk would work better because it will go like it will go with the frizzy hair and these cool, uh, what do you call them? like flares <laughs> I also it's debatable whether this is part of the instrument or it's the tail I do think it's a tail but there's a few problems with it being foxy obviously the biggest one is that foxy doesn't go on the main stage next to Freddy, Chica and Bonnie um, he's known for being alone uh, he's known for being the uh, Lucifer of the angels, if you know what I'm saying, the Azazel, the one that's left out, the one that's bullied. <laughs> and he doesn't really do anything either. Does he sing or anything? I don't know, I don't remember. There's not many other characters it could be. One character though, that I did think of, and I, I've literally just thought of this, and it, it's probably wrong. But what about Wolf? I don't know, I could see it. I mean, I could see... Scott having fun with this and like making this into a mohawk you know what I mean but I mean he has the snout he's kind of he's got the ears as well does he have a tail yeah he does have a tail although that's just fan art the only reason I would say wolf could be an option uh, hear me out is because the books I think the books do need to be incorporated more and I think a way to, for Scott to do that is to introduce introduce characters that have been in the books. And one person on Reddit I saw had the theory that um, 
all of these characters were Charlie's childhood characters and Freddy. Um, which was a good theory, but it didn't hold up very long because they don't look like the characters and I couldn't see it. I mean, they said that this was a unicorn. Stanley the unicorn. I, I don't know what to say about that. But I do think, because the one thing that people overlooked is in Ultimate Custom Night, there is a wolf poster. And I think that was Scott trying to tell us, yeah, these, these are kind of kind of canon. My problem with that is Wolf was created not as a stage performer, but as a hunter. Literally a wolf. Yeah, okay. I mean, I can see, I can definitely see that as a problem. If he's not foxy, I mean, I, I do think he probably will end up being foxy. No doubt about it. But it's interesting to think about because these characters are all revamped and it's either resetting the entire universe of FNAF or kind of showing just a completely different era where they just go crazy in a nightclub and stuff like that. Is it just me or does that look like a hook? That could be a hook. Without the hook. <laughs> it's, it's a very interesting image though. I think Scott's done really well here. Uh, I I hate to admit it, but this is a really good uh, teaser. Also, what's in... I mean, maybe it's just a shadow, but that looks like a fire to me. <laughs> Can you imagine the, the flipping third fire? Third, fourth? Was there one in the Ultimate Custom Night? No, there wasn't. I'm going back on everything that I said, and I think that is a hook. It's part of a hook. It's broken off. Because it's like metallic. You can tell it's metallic because of the sh of the lighting again. Because otherwise, all of this would be purple. You know, what I'm saying the this is all clothing, or like fur. And the hat would definitely be like a metal of some kind or a reflective surface. Um, I might look at the poll. If you haven't done the poll yet, um, I suggest doing it because my video but um what do you think the new teaser is for i'm going to answer it because i can only see the answers if i answer it myself uh i personally think it's for fnaf 9 uh oh a hundred percent of people that it's just me <laughs> um guys click on the eye and do the poll but um i do think it is for FNAF, for fnaf 9 because when you download the image it's nine uh are these characters old or new uh, I do think they're revamped versions of the old animatronics. Thanks for bringing my theory into some light. No problem, I always like... The thing with some people is, they just look at a theory and they're like, nope. See, I try to consider every theory um, as best as I can. Um, and if I find out by evidence that it doesn't work, then I'll just leave it. But I want to consider everyone's opinion, you know? Um, I think that's the best way to go about it. 